All right, first step, right when you get home from work, preheat your oven. I have mine at 350. You're gonna take your fish, rub a little bit of olive oil on it, sprinkle with some sea salt, some fresh cracked black pepper, and I do a little cumin for this recipe. Gives it a nice little zing. And then just a dash of cayenne because I love spicy food. Once you season it, go ahead and put it on some foil and pop it in the oven. This should take about 15 or 20 minutes um, and it'll be ready when you take a fork and the fish is nice and flaky and tender. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make the topping for the mackerel, which is gonna be a combination of ingredients that I have lying around. Um, so we're gonna do red onion, a big handful of cilantro, and some avocado, and a squeeze of lemon. We were out of town this past weekend, so I didn't really have time to do the standard grocery store trip or market trip that I usually do. So I'm kinda of dealing with last week's groceries and a combination of, of just a few things. So this is sorta of gonna be like a guacamole except with a lot more cilantro than you typically see in a guacamole which I just love. And did you know that cilantro people either love it or hate it. You're born at some biological thing that people who don't like it think it tastes like dish soap. I fortunately am not one of those people so I get to enjoy it all the time. However if you don't really dig cilantro you can go ahead and put a big handful of fresh Italian flat parsley in this guacamole if that's something you dig. So we're just going to do like a rough chop on the cilantro and add it to the red onion. Let's do a squeeze of lemon. And then we're going to go ahead and have an avocado. This will just be one half of an avocado for this recipe. Avocado is also something that I love that I know a lot of people don't. But it's great in salads or just topped on a fried egg. That's one, probably one of my favorite ways to eat it. So we're just going to slice it down the middle and then score it across like this. And then just take a spoon and it should easily all slide out. This is going to be sort of like a chunky avocado topping on top of the mackerel but it'll be just great. Go ahead and give it just a little zhuzh. You can break up some of the avocado pieces if they're too big for you, but it's sort of supposed to be like a chunky version of guacamole. That'll sit right on top of the fish. Voila! All right, so the fish is out of the oven. It took about 20 minutes to cook through all the way. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out a piece so that we can serve it. Move this plate up here so y'all can see. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a nice topping or two on top of the fish of the chunky guacamole mixture that we made. And then that's it. I plan on eating this with a little bit of roast broccoli from last night and it's a nice wholesome meal that is super healthy too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.